Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As I had promised to you in the last episode, in this episode, we are going to talk about how can an MSME registered under the MSME Act, under the new Udyam registration, take recourse to MSME's Samadhan portal. If payment from any of its buyers is outstanding for more than 45 days. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you are an MSME that is registered, and if you have any payment that is outstanding for more than 45 days, you can take a look at this provision and you can perhaps take this action. If you find that this is the only alternative left before you. So let's look at this section 15 of the MSME D Act 2006 as amended from time to time. Section 15 under this act has a provision that any buyer who fails to make a payment shall be liable to pay compound interest with monthly rests to the supplier if the payment is not made within 45 days. The interest rate shall be three times the bank rate notified by RBI. It must be noted that this provision is applicable only for micro and small enterprises. The medium scale enterprises are not covered under this section, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what happens if the buyer fails to make a payment within 45 days as mentioned under the act? For this purpose, MSME ministry has created a portal that is called MSME Samadhan portal. It is an online portal where micro and small enterprises can file complaints on the buyers who have made a delayed payment or who have not yet made a payment within 45 days. This portal helps to settle the dispute between buyers and sellers regarding late payment. This portal was introduced by the Ministry of MSME to facilitate filing of complaints or application on delayed payments. The ministry itself does not take any action on the filed cases. However, the provisions are made in such a way that all the action is taken by micro and small enterprise facilitation council that is called MSEFC established by the respective states of the union territories as per the provisions of MSMED Act 2006. Only the MSEFC, that is the council of a concerned state or utility shall take action. The jurisdiction will be that of a MSME supplier. You can either make an application on the MSME Samadhan portal online, or you can even make a physical application by filing a physical application in the concerned uh, MSEFC, that is the council of your particular state or union territory. For an MSME to make this application, Udyam registration now is necessary. Earlier, the Udyog Aadhaar memorandum was necessary. And this Udyam registration can easily be obtained from MSME portal instantly. There's not much documentation involved. In fact, there's no documentation involved at all. And I have covered this in my previous video, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's look at the process of filing a complaint in MSME Samadhan. Step number one, MSME certificate, that is uh, from the 1st of July, 2020. Udyam registration has to be obtained for any enterprise to file a complaint under this section 15 on this online portal. Step number two, all the proof of delivery such as uh, invoices and other relevant documents should be kept ready for submission. It is mandatory to specify Udyam registration number on all the invoices sent by the supplier along with a note that all delayed payments beyond 45 days are liable to monthly interest on compound rate three times the RBI specified rate. So in your invoices, you must mention this very clearly. If this is not done, you must uh, make it happen immediately. Please do it immediately. 
Step number three. Intimation has to be made to the buyer that a complaint shall be filed if the payment is not made within the date specified by the seller. Step number four. If the buyer does not make payment within the notified date, a complaint can be filed at the Samadhan portal of the MSME ministry. Step number six. Your buyer shall receive a notice from micro and small enterprise facilitation council that is msefc of your respective state or union territory and the buyer or the customer is bound to reply to the notice within a specified date mentioned in such notice so this is how the complaint can be filed and the process of recovery of the outstanding amount can be started. The concern MSEFC, that is the council, should decide the case within 90 days of receiving such application. Now what happens after the reference is made or a complaint is filed at the MSME Samardhan portal and it is received by the concerned MSEFC, that is micro and small Enterprises Facilitation Council. On receipt of the reference, the chairperson of the council will examine the buyer's responsibility for delayed payment. The council will conduct conciliation in each reference placed. The buyer and the supplier are required to appear in front of the council for verification. What happens if this kind of conciliation process does not succeed? Then it moves to arbitration process. If the conciliation does not lead to settlement of the dispute, then MSEFC acts as an arbitrator for the final settlement of the dispute or refer the case to an institute. The supplier MSME unit, the buyer MSME unit, or through his lawyer registered with any court shall present the payment case before the MSEFC counselor or the institute during the arbitration process. The institute has to furnish its report to MSEFC within the stipulated time. The decision of the council for delayed payment will be made at the micro and small enterprises facilitation council. MSEFC will make an arbitral award in accordance with the Arbitration and the Conciliation Act 1996. So once the council has delivered the final order or the final award, can it be challenged? by the buyer? Can it be challenged in courts of law? The answer is, yes, it can be challenged, but not without depositing 75% of the award amount, which means that if the council has filed an order or an award in favor of the MSME supplier, let us say the payment involved was 5 crore rupees, as an example. And if the buyer wants to challenge this in any court of law, the buyer must first deposit 75% of 5 crore rupees. Only then the buyer can appeal against the order or the award given by the council. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very powerful provision because it will act as a deterrent. The buyer is likely to feel that if 75% amount has to be deposited in the court, then it is better to settle the dispute with you. Rather than deposit 75% amount in the court, and then it can take years for the decree to come. And the cost of lawyers and the harassment and the wastage of time and so on and so forth. Very, very powerful provision indeed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure how many MSMEs are aware of this provision. And of course, making a complaint, Masterclass recommends that you don't make complaint with your buyer at a drop of a hat. You will lose that buyer forever. However, if some buyer is uh, truly harassing you by delaying the payment, or there is no other option left. You have exhausted all options. You have exhausted relationship options, conciliation options. Then I think this is the last resort. 
that you must uh, undertake rather than first filing a complaint in civil courts or criminal courts. Whether a claim can be filed for interest alone where the claimant has received principal amount already. Yes, you can even file a case for a delayed payment for interest alone, if you wish. Ladies and gentlemen, here is an important caution. Whether the council should decide on the breach of contract between buyer and supplier, such as a rejection of goods for quality deficiencies by buyer as a ground for refusal of dues to the supplier. So that means if you're a supplier and if you have supplied goods and the buyer has made a ground for rejection on the ground of quality deficiencies, then can you still make a claim against uh, uh, the supplier by going to the MSME Samadhan portal? The answer is breach of contract is not within the specified scope of MSME D Act. Rejection of goods should be genuine within 15 days of the receipt of goods and its immediate communication to the supplier. That means if the goods have been rejected within 15 days and if the rejection has been communicated to you, then you cannot go to the MSME Samadharan portal. If the conciliation conducted by the council fails, whether the council can take up arbitration automatically, the answer is yes. Diverse view was taken by the Bombay High Court, but the Supreme Court says that conciliation and arbitration are legally vested functions of the council. So it will automatically move to arbitration stage right at the council. Here is a very important question, ladies and gentlemen. If the same or related subject matter is under another court proceeding, whether a claim is admissible in the council? Answer is no. If the amount is claimed in a civil court, then it cannot be claimed before MSCFC. So be very, very alert about this. Before you can go to a civil court, this is a shorter, better and a faster route to getting your payment, ladies and gentlemen. Don't rush to the civil courts. Instead, rush to the MSME Samadhan portal and to the particular council in your district. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, whatever Master Class and Amrish Cheda have said in this video is not a substitute for your own judgment and is not a substitute for legal advice. This is only an informational video to help uh, MSMEs to tide over a crucial time post COVID where at Masterclass we see a lot of stress arising in the economy and a lot of delays in payment and defaults in payment happening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a video series by Amrish Cheda Masterclass, where every day we answer a question posed by entrepreneurs on a WhatsApp group that we have created. You are welcome to join that WhatsApp group. You will find the link to the WhatsApp group at the end of the video and also in the text that accompanies this video down below. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.